deep. That when it comes to the MAP kinase pathway, copaiba in human liver cells stimulates multiple levels of that pathway, which tells us that copaiba positively regulates the MAP kinase signaling pathway in liver cells. Now, I'm going to walk through some of these data a little more quickly now because you're all pros at it, right? <laughs> Professionals. So, that was just one of those three pathways. How about the others? Looking at the AKT. Uh, PI3 kinase mTOR pathway, again, in response to copaiba for 24 hours. In this case, we saw a decrease in phosphorylation of AKT, suggesting that copaiba inhibits this pathway. Looking at another element of that pathway, a protein called 4EBP1, its phosphorylation state similarly decreased after 24 hours of treatment with copaiba. This tells us that copaiba in human liver cells negatively regulates the PI3 kinase AKT mTOR pathway. Dr. Lee continued to look. This is the last pathway looking at STAT3, which is a significant component. In this case, copaiba after 24 hours increased phosphorylation of STAT3. Now, thank goodness all of you or some of you are saying, let's get on to the point and not the data, but we're showing you everything that we have. Copaiba in human liver cells after 24 hours has a varied and complex response on these pathways. Remember that each of them is associated with a systems level response that at times and under conditions you would want to have less activity and others you want more. Now, I'll save you, uh, us, the time. We repeated those studies, or Dr. Lee did, with green mandarin, helichrysum, melissa, pink pepper, and turmeric. And again, you can see a complex picture of very focused regulation, cellular, the regulation of cellular